Now, men in uniform often make sacrifices beyond their normal call of duty for the common good. Unfortunately, most of their good deeds go unnoticed as the society focuses more on the negative stories. Now, the film Mpakani, which is our focus on the segment Cinemas and Theatre, tells the story of sacrifices men and women in uniform make as well as the untold, uh, the untold stories beyond their duty. Jacqueline Masharia gives us a look. Bakani, a 45-minute action drama, features a special intervention unit of the administration police. Panther, medic. This unit is dispatched to the front line in Wajir on the Kenya-Somalia border to deal with the threat posed by the notorious Al-Shabaab commander who is planning a major terrorist attack in Nairobi. All I ask. In each episode, the unit formulates and executes a mission based on intelligence received as they seek to thwart attempts by the Al-Shabaab to infiltrate the country and cause harm. Pakani was uh, commissioned to show a story of, uh, of six officers working on our border on the north part of Kenya. And we've all had stories from there, we've all had news features. So as filmmakers, we thought this is a nice genre to try and go into because um, service work and family are very related. This story talks about the police, the soldiers, the army, just being normal people going through everyday experiences, challenges. Apart from just being in uniform, when they're back to being the Kawaida citizen, they also go through the same same situation, same same challenges, same same uh, issues that every single person goes through. Produced by Foxton Media, the film director Victor Gatonia notes the hardest task was finding a lead actor who would bring out the authenticity of the film. First thing was to get the right lead. We did strain him really hard and he was quite cool. He was messed up by the end of the day and, and he was very positive and he walked out and we all went there, he's, we have a lead. So after we got Cloud, then getting the other characters was quite easy. But as an actor, Mpakani has really give, given me the role I've always wanted in life. I really needed to, uh, to prove to myself, not just to the uh, to guys, but to myself that I can actually do this. And it's actually something I really wanted to do. So yeah, I gave it my all. I had to learn a different language I've never even spoken before. But you know, I had to, to do it for the film. It was quite challenging to me. But um, I managed, I went through everything and you know, I got something good out of it. I loved it at, 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 at the long last. University. One, two, three. The film industry has equally to good sides, it also has challenges. We live in a society where you have to prove yourself. So if you're in the film industry and you've never really gotten a chance to really showcase what you can do, it becomes hard to actually attract the right audience, the right, uh, the right boss in terms of the right production. So you can be good and you believe you're good, but if you don't have the platform to show that, it will take you quite some time before you can actually showcase what you, what you have. Our uh, art scene post-COVID, it's produced more than ever. We've really done well. The movies that are coming out are really nice. The series recorded in Nairobi, Kiambu and Samburu counties takes the audience through the lives of the officers while on duty by capturing the real-life situations they face daily. The show, in a special way, highlights the prowess of the specially trained units as they conduct a mission. Jacqueline Masharia for Cinemas and Theatre.